down. Shot by Sorkin and a save made. Sorkin scored last night. It was a put away goal in the 4 0 victory. He scored the third one. Chabrier opened the scoring for Maine last night. He's got the puck now, a centering feed. Poole in, shoot, save, rebound, score! Harrison Scott scores again. He burned RIT yesterday and he opens the scoring for Maine tonight. Well, the goal early in the first period ended up not counting here for the Maine Black Bears, but only a minute 28 into the second. They'll get this one. Harrison Scott scored on a tricky backhand yesterday against RIT. This one not quite as tricky. Great leverage on that. Last for about 10 seconds. Fusco has Musa the trailer. It's intercepted. Look out. Here come the Black Bears. Lyndon Breen. He's got a man with him in Pavich. Pavich shoots. Score. The power play had expired. The Black Bears on the counterattack, and they double their lead. I'm sure that feels real good for Reed Pabich, who scored the first goal for Maine that ended up coming off the board for the offside. Lyndon Breen, it's a two on one. Josh Nadeau just out of the box, makes it a three on one. Great pass to find Pabich, and he buries it. That's his first of the season. The goal. Not a bad number. Pretty good line. Big Green now playing from two down. They definitely controlled the first period, couldn't score, and now the Black Bears back. Scholey, nice move, he scores! <laughs> Sully Scholey putting on a show. Upstairs, a beautiful shot, and Scholey has his second. Well, that is definitely the way to beat a tall goaltender, get him in the butterfly and beat him upstairs. What a shot by Sully Scholey. He's improved so much as the season has gone on. The Black Bears may have found another really good freshman in this. Fusco into the offensive zone. Chabrier took it away from him. Nice long pass, Scholey in for his second goal, he scores! A brace for Sully Scholey, his first two goal game. And Maine extends their lead. Maine is so good at scoring in the first two minutes of periods and the last two minutes of periods. They're very important times. Brandon Chabrier, a pass through basically three zones yep. to send Scholey. And they do hold on for that 7-22. They'll become the third straight Hockey East team to win this holiday tournament after Providence and BC did the last couple of years. The four out of five, in fact, as Providence also won in 2018. Hockey East fans could celebrate that as that came through to Vuario, kicked in front and Flinton scores. Now the big green ruined the shutout anyway as Cooper Flinton takes a pinballing puck and scores again. He had a goal last night and his point streak continues to four games. Well, it's good that the home fans get something to cheer about here tonight that looked like they tied it. Then uh, it ended up coming off the board because it was batted in with a hand. This one is not coming back. Yeah, that just pinballed. Flinton's not going to miss from there. Stoned him. Here's Josh Waters for Dartmouth. Centering pass. Knocked down by Brandon Holt. Under four to go. Holt back up ice, carrying himself. Donovan Poole spun around as he goes down to the ice with John Fusco for the big green. Morgan chips that to neutralize. The Black Bears retrieve. That's Antonacci. John Fusco at his own blue line. Picks up for Dartmouth. Knocked down by Josh Nadeau. Nadeau breaks into the offensive zone. Breen in front, a backhand score! Lyndon Breen off the feed from Josh Nadeau. And the Black Bears regain their four goal advantage. Now there's the NB line goal that everyone was waiting for all night. It comes at 16-29 of the third period. Josh Nadeau sets up Lyndon Breen here. Breen, great backhand move to stick that between the legs of Black. 